Now, I like to keep my computers looking nice and shiny, but I'd hardly describe this as clean. And that's exactly why I'm going to be showing you guys at home how to super clean your own PC glass side panel so that it's streak free, dirt free and showing off all of your beautiful components because the process is not as simple as you might think. This is my PC side panel. It's covered in dirt, fingerprints, dust, you name it. So today I'm going to be showing you how a lot of people incorrectly clean their PC glass side panels and then I'm going to show you the proper way of doing it so that your PC side panel is perfectly clean just like it came out at the factory. But why does your PC side panel get dirty and disgusting even if you never even touch it? Well the answer to that is simple. The inside of a PC gets hot and that's not a great environment for plastics which if you haven't noticed a lot of PC components are made from. When some plastics get too hot oils from within start to rise to the surface and evaporate. These oils then stick to, you guessed it, your side panel. In extreme cases, this can lead to an oily film developing on the inside of your side panel, but it almost always encourages dust to settle and stick to the side panel, inviting all sorts of dirt and debris. So even if you don't touch your PC, allowing it to get too hot and not properly maintaining your dust filters can lead to some pretty grim looking side panels. And combine all of that with the fact that you've got fans constantly circulating potentially dirty air all around the PC all of the time, well, it's just a recipe for disaster. One of the biggest mistakes people make when attempting to clean their PC side panels is using the incorrect products. Multi-surface cleaning wipes can be used on a whole variety of things throughout the household, but the PC isn't one of them. And so many people try to use them for this. It's so clear when someone has because you can immediately see all of the streaks all over the glass panel. Not only that, but it leaves these weird little fibers all over the panel as well. They're hard to spot, but I've circled one here for you to see. And now that I've shown you some of the don'ts, how about we take this outside where I'll show you guys how to properly clean your PC side panel without leaving any marks and residue. You'll need a soft and dirt free surface to work on. This will help to avoid scratches. I'm using this blanket, but there are loads of things that you can use. Next, grab yourself some gloves. The last thing you want is to be putting fingerprints back on the panel as you clean or as you transport it back to your PC. So if you don't have any, be really careful and only carry your side panel by the edges. First up, grab yourself a new microfiber cloth. Be sure that it's a clean one, so either buy one brand new or make sure it's had a run through the washing machine. The first step will help us remove any loose debris. So take your cloth and wipe down both sides of the panel in a circular motion. The circular motion lets us attack dust and debris from all angles and makes the dislodging process easier. Next is step number two. Here you want to grab some isopropyl alcohol and a different microfiber cloth. You don't want to be rubbing all the dust from the last stage back into the side panel, so it's really important to use another new cloth. Start by pouring a small amount of alcohol on the panel and then wipe both sides in a circular motion. This step will remove all of the oils and fingerprints that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Isopropyl alcohol is great because it evaporates quickly and won't leave any residue behind, and that's why I recommend using it here. The third step is to take your glass cleaner of choice. Different glass cleaners will make a difference, so you want a glass cleaner that you trust and won't leave behind streaky marks once it dries. Apply the glass cleaner directly to the panel, and then take a third and final cloth and use it to wipe down both sides of the panel again in a circular motion. You want to apply gentle pressure at this stage to help make sure any remaining debris is lifted from the surface. Finally, if you still find that you've got streaks in your side panel, then it's likely your cloths had some dirt residue in them at a previous stage. A quick trick to get around this is to again apply glass cleaner, but this time use a folded paper towel to wipe down the glass. Be careful with the paper towel as these can begin to break apart easily, so be sure to swap them out regularly as you take your final passes over the panel. The last step is to take a fourth and final cloth and wipe down both sides of the panel. For this step, you want to hold the panel upright so it's not making contact with any surfaces. When doing this, be sure to hold the panel by the very edge so you don't introduce additional fingerprints. Wipe down the panel with your cloth to make sure you have no paper towel or hair or other fibers that may have landed on the panel during cleaning. And now you're done. It's time to mire all of your hard work.
I don't know about you guys, but I think the results there are really impressive. You can't quite appreciate it until you see that before versus after shot, but once you see it, wow, are the results absolutely stunning. So if you did find this video useful, then be sure to hit like, get subscribed, and leave a comment down below letting me know if you were able to follow along with the tips, or if you've got any other individual tips of your own that you think would help people out. And whilst you're at it, why not join the RMD Tech Discord community where you can share pictures of your own cleaning attempts and discuss your best way of doing it with other members of the RMD Tech community. I always love to see new people joining, so it'd be great to have you around.